Well, it was nice knowing you, Boko the Buff, because right now Darth Vader is all but done with you. Last time we saw the Hutt Council in action, they all felt betrayed by Darth Vader and Jabba the Hutt. It's been a crazy whirlwind of stories with the War of the Bounty Hunters concluding now. My last wish when we saw the Hutt Council get decimated and killed by Darth Vader was that we actually see that with our own eyes, because in the Star Wars comic issue, we simply cut to Darth Vader killing all of them. But now in Darth Vader issue number 17, we got to see it in person. Darth Vader not only killing the Hutt Council, but the last moments that he shared with Boku the Buff, the biggest rival of Jabba, who was of course secretly working for Crimson Dawn. This comic of course starts with the chaos that was ensuing both below and above. Below in Jakara, Ochia Bastuna and Sly Moore were fighting against each other as Ochi was all but loyal to Darth Vader, while Sly Moore was loyal to the Emperor, and this is where the fighting ensued. But at that same moment, the Hots were going for Vader's shuttle, trying to grab Solo for themselves, and these orders to attack even the flagship, the Executor, came from Boku the Buff, who was of course working for Kira, and he basically sabotaged the Hutt Council. This is when Admiral Piet snitched on Darth Vader to Emperor Palpatine, and then Emperor Palpatine ordered him to veer off Luke Skywalker and go deal with the Hutt Council personally. You know you cannot escape me, my son, says Darth Vader in his mind, but today you will, because my master has shown his hand. As Darth Vader turns back around, much to the shock of Luke Skywalker, he wants you alive, as we see Emperor Palpatine scheming. So it will have to be enough to know your fear, but even better to measure his. Now we cut to the crazy action. The huts and their body parts, their arms, are flailing and flying around. They're getting killed by Darth Vader. This is inside the HUD flagship. Now, as much as we say that these, all the comics and TV shows are pretty tame, I mean, in this comic issue right now, we're seeing body parts fly around. There's actually a HUD without his arm in the background screaming his eyes out while his hand is flying in the air. Pretty, pretty brutal if you ask me. Lord Vader, let's be reasonable here, says Boku. I did everything you asked, stuck my neck out for you, bid against Jabba for Solo, and you humiliated me. Your pride is not my concern, Boku, says Vader as he slowly approaches the hut. If you watch this scene and how Boku is basically begging here. It is very reminiscent to what happened on Mustafar with the Separatist Council as a healed up no suit Darth Vader experienced a similar scenario decades ago. Similar to the Gamorrean guards trying to protect Boku, the droids were protecting the Separatist Council as well, but in the end it was to no avail, as the Gamorrean guards were sliced in half by Darth Vader with no hesitation. We had an agreement, says Boku, which you were always going to break, says Vader. No, yes. From the beginning, you hesitated when the droid crush attacked me on Z9 City 7. Now Vader is going as far as to decapitate these Gamorrean guards, and again, this is a very, very brutal scene. That was the moment, says Vader, you chose your destiny. Oh, I assure you, I chose it much earlier, as Boku seems to be pleased with what the droid just did. I was pleased when I joined Crimson Dawn. Now Vader realizes the truth. He is surrounded by treachery. Boku was a coward, but now he finds out that Boku was a coward that worked for the other side as well. The droid now mocks Darth Vader. He's actually surprised. How delightful. You've chosen foolishly says Vader, as now the final moment has come. Why, says Boku, because I'll die? You just said you were always going to kill me anyway. In a galaxy of emperors and wizards, there's no way for lowly souls like us to win this game. 
unless we stand together. Loki, he does have a point here. In a, in a galaxy where Jedi and Sith, basically magic rules the galaxy, how do ordinary folks win out in the end? But nevertheless, whatever his thoughts are, Vader has a simple answer to that. You stood together, and still, with his lightsaber in hand, he plunges it in Boku's stomach. As the lightsaber comes out to the back, this is how deep it went. Even even though you stood together, Vader said, you die. Boku, holding his wound, says, but so do you. Gak, are we? As he asks his droid his final question, perfectly positioned, sir. It has been my pleasure to bring the dawn. This is the moment when Vader realizes that the ship was put on self-destruct. Vader uses the force to crush the droid altogether, but it is too late, according to Boku, and those were his final words before the ship completely explodes to smithereens. Darth Vader, unfortunately, was inside. The Executor and Admiral Piet could do nothing more but to watch on. What nobody realizes, of course, until they meet their doom, is that you just cannot kill Darth Vader. You try and try, but ultimately, you fail. As we see a huge ball of fire going down to the, to the planet of Jakara, it bounces off a mountain mountain down the valley and finally settles on a place and it, it is fizzing because it is white hot on a snowy planet. Lastly, we see a lightsaber cutting through the metal. As we now know, Vader is fully alive and has escaped that explosion by creating sort of a do-it-yourself escape pod. In a split second, we see that Vader uses the force to get scrap metal from all around and protect himself from the explosion and the fire. Now aboard the Executor, Slymore has been apprehended by Ochia Bestoon and the Grand Vizier Mass Amida. Boy, do you think Vader will have something to say about this? Well, you're gonna find out in the next video that we're gonna cover in this channel. So be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for these stories. And guys, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Tell me what did you think about the demise of Boku the Hutt. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.